Welcome to the Ash Design training video on using our Lightroom Quick Collages. You'll be able to create beautiful collages like this 100% in Lightroom in under 5 minutes once you have your system set up. Before we start in Lightroom, take a look at your folder structure. This is an important part of setting up Lightroom. You're going to want to put all of your design files in a single folder. Mine's called Design Files and I have Ash Design Lightroom Elements and this is where I'm going to put the Ash Design Accessory Kits, like this chalkboard one, and my Ash Design Lightroom presets. I'll show you how to upload both of those in just a minute. Now let's go over to Lightroom and do the first import, which will be the Accessory Kit. So I'll just click Import, and I'll import those the same as I would any other images. In this case, I want to make sure that it's set on Add, because I want to add photos to the catalog without moving them. You can set up your file handling to build smart previews and not import selected duplicates. And you can also choose your keywords right here. From there, you just click Import. And Lightroom will bring them in just as they would any other images. From here, we're going to create a collection so that we can use these images along with our photos to create the collage. So I don't know which of these papers and elements I want to use, so for this instance I'm going to put them all together. So you can hit Command or Control A to select all of the images, and then come under Collections right here, and I'm just going to right click and do Create Collection. And once I do that I can name my collection. You might want to use a family name or session name. and then include selected photos is checked and I'll hit create. You'll see over here under my collections I've added the ash design training and it has 15 images. In addition to these images I want to make sure that I add my photos. So I'm going to go to my session photos and select all of the images that I want to use. Again it could be all of the images in the session or you could pick out just the images you want. I'll go back to my collection and I'll right click add selected photos to this collection. Now you can see I have 32 images in this collection and when I click on it you can see both my design elements from Ash Design and the session image pictures. Now that we have our collection made we're ready to move over to the print module. Over here under the template browser you can see where I've already uploaded Ash Design collages and these are the collages that we'll be using today. To do this, you right click and create a new folder. In my case, I named it Ash Collages, as simply stated. After you have your folder, you'll click on the folder, right click, and do an import. Navigate to where your Lightroom presets are, select them all, and press import. Then they'll appear right here in your template browser, and whichever image we click on, it will populate our template for us. Today we're going to build a 12 by 12. Building the quick collage is really as simple as dragging and dropping images and elements exactly where you want them. In this case, I'm just going to pull this background and wherever I get this yellow or orange highlight is where my image is going to go. So as I move it around, I can see the yellow and orange highlights showing me where I would place the image as soon as I let go of my mouse. I'm going to put this in the background. I can still see the lines for each of my image locations, and now I can use these elements to complete my design. In addition, I can add photos to each of the boxes. Once I have all of my images in place, I can make additional changes by clicking on the image I have selected, and then if I hold down the command or control key, I'm able to move it within the photo box to get the positioning correct. In addition, I can go back to the develop module and edit any of these images. Say I wanted to crop this image in closer. I simply click on the develop module or press the R key, 
and then I can use my crop tool to crop in on the image. In this case, where I'm using a square image, it might be beneficial to change my aspect ratio so I can more clearly see what my image will look like. When I'm happy, I just press enter or return and go back to the print module. When my image loads, those changes have been made. Our last step is to save the file. And we can save it two ways. First is to save it with our collection. So we'll just click this Create Save to Print. Then we'll select a name for our file. And tell it where we'd like to save it. I want to save it in my Ash Design Training folder. And you might want to be pretty specific with your name. Choose Include Only Used Photos and click Create. Now here in my collections, you can see not only do I have my original Ash Design Training folder that has all of the images that I put into the collection, I also have this print piece underneath that has 11 images, only the images that I used, and has saved a copy of it for me to come back to and return to later. In addition to saving it in Lightroom, I also want to save a print file so that I can upload it to my lab. To do this, I would change any specifications needed in the print job panel and then click print to file. Once I click print to file, I'll simply navigate to the folder where I've saved all my customers' images that I'll be uploading to my print lab. I'll click save and we'll be done. It's really that easy to create these new quick collages using Ash Design templates designed just for Lightroom.